Question number one. Try to concentrate. All these questions are different from what we have been solving so far because the given data is also a little different. There are four class of members. A class members, B class members, C and D class members. Then in each class, the number of members is given. For example, in A class, there are 218 members. In B class, 137. In C, 87. In D, 96. Total members, 538. Then these members have got different types of books. Novels, sport magazines and other types of books. So number of books issued to each class is also given there. And total number of books is also given. Right? Total for class A is 469. For B, 1127. For C, 665. For D, 1123. And total of all the books is 3384. Now look at question number one. The maximum ratio of the number of novels issued to the number of members in a class is nearly. The maximum ratio. Ratio is what? A is to B. A by B. It's nothing but a comparison. Division. A by B or A is to B. So the maximum ratio of, of what? Number of novels issued to the number of members in a class. Number of novels issued to the number of members in a class. Now here we have got four different classes. A, B, C and D. So for each class, you find out that ratio. What ratio? Novels is to members. Novels by members. Number of novels by number of members. For example, for class A, how many novels are issued? 387. How many are the members? 280. Yes or no? Novels is to members. Number of novels is to number of members. A is to B is nothing but A by B. You know that. So 387 by 280. Likewise for remaining classes. Class B. How much will that be? 864 by 137. For class C, 283 novels issued in between 87 members. And in class D, 713 novels among 96 uh, members. Now, we don't have to find out which class has got maximum ratio. We have to find out what is the maximum ratio. That means what? Simplify all the values. Whichever is maximum, that's your answer. Right? Let's, let's look at this. Look at the options 9.44, 5.35, 6.32, 7.43 3, and as usual fifth option is none of this. So I told you, just worry about the first four options. Don't consider one fifth option. If you look at the options, all are different. All are like, you know, uh, varying from each other. So I can go for approximate calculation. Look at this. This anyway cannot be the answer because 387 by 280 is what? Around 1.5, not more than that. Yes or no? Around, around 1.5. Getting the point? 200, 300 by 280 or a little more than 1.5. Approximate calculation, let's do. 864 by 137. Let's assume this is 860. This is 150. How many times? Around 6 times. Around 6 times. Because, or let's say this is 900. 900 by 150. 900 by 150 is how much? 6. So approximately 6. Right? We are doing a just approximate calculation. 287 by 87. Let's say this is 90. This is 287. So 90 into 3 is 270. Around 3. So approximately 3. Look at next one, 713 by 96. Let's assume this is 100. 713 by 100, 713 by 100, 7.13. Yes or no? Approximately 7.13. Actual answer should be more than 7.13. Why? Actual denominator is less. We have assumed the denominator to be 100. So 713 by 100 is 7.13. But actual denominator is less. When the denominator is less, value will be more. So actual denominator is less, actual value will be more. More than 7.13. Now compare 1.5, 6, 3, 7.13. Which is maximum? This is maximum. Look at the options. 7.43 that can be taken as the approximate answer right fourth option 7.43 so that's how you have solved question number one that's how you get the answer for question number one let's now look at question number question number two the average number of books issued to any one member is nearly the average number of novels issued to any member of class right the average number of books issued to any one member is nearly the average number of novels issued to any one member of a class. So which class? Is it A, B, C or D is the question here. First, let's look at the first part. What is the first part? The average number of books issued to any one member. Average number of books issued to any one member. It's not with respect to class. Average books issued to any one member. What's the total number of books issued? 3384. Total books issued is 3384. And how many members totally? 538. 538. Yes or no? So this is the average. Average number of books issued to any one member. Total number of books you know, total number of members you know, across all the classes, across all the categories of books. So average will be 3384 by 538, approximately 540. Now how many times? Approximately 500 into 6. 506 is 3000. 40 into 6, 240. So 3240. So approximately 6. Approximately 6 or I can say approximately more than 6. Yes sir, approximately more than 6. So this is the average number of books issued to any one member 
as per the first part of the question right average number of books issued to any one member now this is nearly the average number of novels issued to any one member of which class this is nearly the average of novels issued to which class average number of novels issued to any one member of we have already calculated the average of novels issued number of novels by number of members number of novels by number of members yes or no what are the values we have got average values you yes or no average is nothing but total number of novels issued by total number of members yes or no average number of novels issued to any one member total number of novels issued by total number of members that is nothing but the ratio and the average here in this case so you have got all the averages already in the previous question 1.5 637.13 and actual average total books by total number of members is 6 so nearly equal to which class for which class class b approximately 6 here also approximately 6 so we can say that for question number 2 the answer is class b option 2 class b is the answer right question number 3 the number of the number which is 5 times the excess of total number of books issued to C class members over the total number of books issued to A class members is most clearly the number denoting the total number of what? Now these questions are only difficult to understand. Once you have understood the question, answering that will not be difficult, right? So it's all about if you have understood the question or not. Some of you said we have left the remaining questions because you know they are difficult. Actually question number 3 is one of the easiest one. Get the point? Uh, Avip Sid says, sir, we got 7.13. How can we assume that 7.43? Option 5 is also available. Yes, as I said, option 5 is also available. There are two only, there are only two uh, ways which you can which you can get the answer. Either you go for approximate answer mark 7.43. I have said in the beginning of the session itself that always fifth option is none of this. Most of the times we can avoid that. I mean, I don't say that always your answer will be correct, but sometimes you may go wrong also. But then generally, none of this is there, it's just there, right? If you say that no, I don't want to take a chance, I only want exact answer, then only I mark it. So what do you do? Divide. 713 divided by 96. Do the actual division, you will come to know. If it is 7.43, mark fourth option. Otherwise, go for fifth option. So it depends. It depends on you know whether you are comfortable with that or not. And it depends on at what point of time you are solving this question. Let's say if I am solving question number two in the last five minutes of the exam, last two minutes of the exam, I don't worry about the exact calculation because I am 100% sure first option, second option, and third options are wrong. It should either be fourth option or it should be fifth option. I'll take a chance. I'll mark fourth option, right? So it depends on what kind of situation uh, you are taking this particular question, there, right? And depends on you. If you say that no, I don't want to take these kind of chances. I want exact answer. Go for exact calculation. Now look at question number three. The number which is five times. The number which is five times. Five times what? The excess of total number of books issued to C class members. How many total books have been issued to C class members? Total number of books issued to C class members? 665, right? excess of C class members over total number of books issued to A class members. How many books have been issued to A class members? 469. Yes or no? Number of books issued to C class members? 4665. Number of books issued to A class members? 469. Read, read the statement properly. The number which is 5 times the excess of. What do you mean by excess? Extra. Extra of total books issued to C over total books issued to A. How much is this extra? 665 is how much excess than 469? How much more than 469? How much is this? Take the difference. You will get how much? 200 minus 4. 196. Yes or no? 665 minus 469. 196. Getting the point. So excess books of C class members over A class members is 196. Now what is 5 times of this number? 5 times of this number. 5 into this. So 5 into 196. What is 5 into 196? 980. Remember you have seen yesterday how to multiply a number by 5. Half into 10. So half of 196 is 98 into 10, 980. So the number which is 5 times the excess of total number of books issued to C class members over the total number of books issued to A class members is most nearly. What's the number we have got? 980. So now read the question this way. 980 is most nearly the number denoting the total number of what? Options. 980 is most nearly the number denoting total number of what? First option, members. What is the total number of members? 538. So is it nearly 538? No. Second option, sports magazine. Sports magazine 195, far away. Novels issued, novels issued 2,247, much far, right? Then fourth option, other books issued. What's the other books issued? Other books issued 942. Yes or no? Is this most nearly 942 out of the given options? Yes. So your answer here is fourth option, other books issued. Four, fourth option, other books issued, right? So out of the given options, we can say other books issued are most nearly the number that we have got, right? So that's how you get the answer for question number three. Let's now move on to question number four here. What? See what it says. If the number of novels issued to C class and D class were treated as sports magazine of these two classes with no issue of novels to them, then total number of sports magazine issued to the members of all classes as a percentage of total number of novels and other books issued to the members of all classes. 
so actually this is what kind of a question giriraju says may i know which question numbers you are solving sir so which means you have joined for the session now you were not present from the beginning in fact i uh, didn't see you commenting any time before at least in today's session sir i mean this is almost end of the session right you cannot be so late we are solving question numbers 1 to 5 from set 6 page number 76 If the number of novels issued to C class and D class were treated as sports magazine, how many novels have been issued to C class and D class? Two eighty-three and seven thirteen. So these should be taken as sports magazine. If you observe, sports magazine are zero for C and D. Sports magazine are zero. So what is saying? Novels should be taken as sports magazine. So if you ask me, how many sports magazine have been issued for C? Actually zero. But in this question, we'll take it as two eighty-three. How many sports magazines have been issued for D? Actually zero. But in this question, we'll take it as seven thirteen. So after you do this. With no issues of novels, novels are zero. We are just shifting the novels as sports magazine, so novels become zero. Then the total number of sports magazine issued to all the members of all classes. What will be the total number of sports magazines? See, try to observe. Sports magazine total number of sports magazine will be fifty-eight plus one thirty-seven plus actually zero and zero. But we have got novels as sports magazine for C and D, so plus two eighty-three plus seven thirty. Right? So you will get some total. This is total number of sports magazine. Then, so total number of sports magazine issued to the members of the classes as a percentage of X, as a percentage of Y. What is that Y? Total number of novels and other books issued to all the members of all classes. So total novels and other books. Now, what are the total novels? Total novels. You look at this. Actually, two two four seven. But you cannot take two two four seven. Why? Two eighty three and seven thirteen have come down. And he, in the question, he has clearly specified that novels become zero with no novels issued to C and D. So total novels. This is total sports magazine. Total sports magazine, total number of novels will be only 387 plus 864, and total number of other books, total other books, how much? I don't have to calculate this. This is readily available. What is the total number of other books? Total number of other books is 942. So what is he asking? Total number of sports magazines as a percentage of total number of novels and other books issued of all classes. So x is what percent of y? I can say the answer here should be this value. This is x. And this total is y, so your answer should be x by y into 100. Do the calculation and you'll get the answer. So it's just understanding the question. If you have understood the question properly, getting the answer becomes very easy. Again, it depends on same story. How quickly can you do these calculations? Let's now look at the last question here. Question number five. The sum of the averages of total number of books issued to the numbers, total number of books issued to the members of the different classes is nearly dash times. the average of total number of all the books issued to all the members of all classes now again you have to understand the question uh uh in a in a step by step process you see what it says the sum of the averages of i'm just clearing this part you can do the calculation last question the sum of the averages of sum of the averages of what total number of books issued to the members of different classes so sum of the average now what is the average of a class total number of books issued how many books issued for a class 469 Divided by average. Average means what? Divided by 218. Total number of members. So sum of the averages. So this is for class A. What's the class B average? 1127 divided by 137. What is for class C? 665 divided by 87. And what is that for class D? Average uh, 1123 divided by 96. Yes or no? So these are nothing but the average of total number of books issued to in each class, right? So total books by total members, total books by total members, right? For each class. So sum of the averages. That means sum of all these values. You have to find out the total of all these values. E is nearly. So this value, you will get some value here. Let's say this value is x. So this x is nearly how many times dash times the average of total number of books, total number of all the books issued to. the members of all classes now what's the other type of average here total books of all the classes for all the members so 3384 divided by total members is 538 3384 I, i if you remember this we have already taken question number 1 approximately 6 times i can say so this is approximately 6 times yes or no 33 500 into 6 is 3000 38 into 6 or 40 into 6 is 240 so 3240 approximately 6 6 point something 6 point something so this is one value and you have got x here This is nothing but equal to x. This is equal to x. Let's say. So the question is, x is dash times dash into what? Dash into six. So you just have to find out this x first. Do this calculation. 
you will get some value. This value is how many times 6, approximately how many times 6. When you solve that, you will get the required answer. Now, if you find this to be easy in calculation, go for it. Otherwise, you know what's the solution. Leave and move to the next one.